Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah wa syukranillah. Wassalatu wassalamu ala nabiyyina wa maulana Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. First of all, all praise is to Allah and always be to Allah, the one who has given us his peace and blessing so that I could give you this important message. Secondly, salawat and salam always given to our beloved prophet, our raw model, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the person who has brought us from the dark ages into this bright and shining one. Dear viewers who I care and love for, thank you for watching this video. Maybe you're watching this because you want to or someone forced you to. But either ways, thank you for making the view count go up. Before I begin my speech, let me introduce myself. And my name is Sinzo Ali Muhammad, an 8th grader from the Ibn Abbas boarding school. And I'm going to give you a speech for this program called Persia, Pasan Ramadan, Sandri, Ibn Abbas. So, without further ado, let me give you a speech with the theme of the Quran as a guide to human life. We all, dear viewers, we all know that the Quran is the last book brought down upon the last Prophet, our beloved Prophet, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It is a complete code of life. We can even make a whole law out of the Quran and the Sunnah combined. And Allah has brought the book down upon us, us, because through that book, Allah has chosen for us Islam as a religion to follow. For by following Islam is only, only the path to progress and prosperity in this world and hereafter. Allah has said in the Holy Quran, Surah Al-Baqarah verse 2, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين And this is the book which there is no doubt in it, guidance for those conscious of Allah. So, dear viewers, the Quran is the universal book to be followed by mankind, all of mankind. It is a way of life. The Quran is the divine speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a guidance for all of mankind, all of mankind. And it is from the greatest mercy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought down upon this universe. And it is a book full of blessings. And when we follow it and live by it, we will attain those blessings. And it is a challenge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala challenged all of mankind and jinnkind to produce anything like it and they shall never be able to do so. It is the most eloquent speech. It is the speech that you'll never ever get tired of reading and reciting. Dear viewers, in Surah Al-Isra, verse 105, Allah said in the, in the Holy Quran, rajim, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. And we sent the, the Quran in truth, and in truth has it descended. And we sent thee, but to give glad tidings and to warn mankind. Dear viewers, the Quran has hence been sent down to us to give us good news, but also to warn us of the punishment in the hereafter for, e for evildoers. The word mankind does not only refer to us Muslims, a group, caste, or color of people. Rather, it refers to all of the humans living on this earth. Dear viewers, what does the Quran remind us? That we are to worship only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to follow in the footsteps of our raw model, our beloved Prophet, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and to do good things good things in this world. And let's go back to the first word that was brought down to our Prophet. Iqra from Surah Al-Alaq. That means read. So, dear viewers, let's read the Quran. Don't just put them on your shelves. Take it, open it, read it. Try to memorize it. And don't you dare memorize it uh, so that you can fill up your target of, the, of your school or something. Memorize it because you, you love it, you want it. But because it makes you feel peaceful inside. And try to 
practice it in our daily lives. So, dear viewers, I ask you another question. Do you have problems? Do I have problems? Of course I have problems. Everyone has problems. Even our beloved country, Indonesia, has many problems. And I believe that the Quran is the solution. I think the Quran is the answer. Because the Quran is a guide to human life. Maybe that's all that I could give you on this wonderful occasion. Sorry for the mistakes that I, ma that I made along the way. Thank you for the attention that you all gave me. But before I end my speech, let me give you a conclusion with an Indonesian language. Jadinya, Al-Quran itu adalah pedoman hidup untuk seluruh umat manusia. Seluruh umat manusia. Dan sepatutnya kita membacanya, mengamalkannya, dan metadaburinya di kehidupan sehari-hari. Maybe that's all of the conclusion that I have. Syukran. Billahi taufiq walidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.